Humans have speculated about life beyond Earth. For as long as people have stared into the night sky, Scientists currently believe that various locations in our solar system might support life. Europa, Jupiter's moon, is one of these. A fascinating world with a salty, subterranean ocean of liquid water that may be twice as large as all of Earth's seas combined. Now, using the James Webb Space Telescope, astronomers have found carbon on Europa's surface, which likely originated in this ocean. The discovery indicates the existence of a potentially habitable environment in Europa's ocean. Welcome to Lab 360, it's time to explore. Make sure to click the subscribe button to stay up to speed on the latest discoveries in space. Jupiter's natural satellite, Europa, is one of just a few worlds in our solar system that may have life-supporting conditions. Previous research has shown a salty ocean of liquid water with a rocky substrate under its water ice layer. However, planetary scientists were unsure if the ocean had the ingredients required for life, notably carbon. Using data from NASA's James Webb Space Telescope, Astronomers discovered carbon dioxide in a specific location on Europa's frozen surface. According to the analysis, this carbon originated in the underlying ocean and was not transported by meteorites or other external sources. Moreover, it was deposited on a geologically recent time scale. This discovery has significant ramifications for Europa's ocean's potential habitability. We are living on carbon. Understanding the chemistry of Europa's ocean will help us establish if it is hostile to life as we know it or whether it may be a suitable environment for life. Samantha Trumbo of Cornell University has said, we now think that we have observational evidence that the carbon we see on Europa's surface came from the ocean. That's not a trivial thing. Carbon is a biologically essential element. In October 2024, NASA plans to launch its Europa Clipper spacecraft, which will perform dozens of close flybys of Europa to further investigate whether it could have conditions suitable for life. Scientists are discussing the extent to which Europa's ocean is connected to its surface. That question, I believe, has been a major motivator for Europa's exploration. This means that we may be able to obtain some fundamental information about the composition of the ocean before drilling through the ice to gain the entire picture. Both teams used data from Webb's near-infrared spectrograph's integral field unit to identify the carbon dioxide. This instrument mode generates spectra with a resolution of 200 by 200 miles on Europa's surface, which has a diameter of 1,944 miles, allowing astronomers to pinpoint the location of individual compounds Webb discovers that carbon dioxide is most plentiful on Europa's surface at Tara Regio, a geologically young area of typically resurfaced ground known as chaos terrain. The surface ice has been disturbed, and there has most certainly been a material exchange between the subsurface ocean and the frozen icy surface. Previous observations from the Hubble Space Telescope show evidence for ocean-derived salt in Tara Regio. We can now see that carbon dioxide is also highly concentrated there. We believe that this suggests that the carbon originated in the interior ocean. The team also looked for evidence of a plume of water vapor erupting from Europa's surface. Researchers using NASA's Hubble Space Telescope reported tentative detections of plumes in 2013. 
2016 and 2017. However, finding definitive proof has been difficult. The new web data shows no evidence of plume activity, which has allowed the research team to set a strict upper limit on the rate of material potentially being ejected. The team stressed, however, that their non-detection does not rule out a plume. There is always a possibility that these plumes are variable and that you can only see them at certain times. As Webb was unable to capture the plumes, These findings may help inform NASA's Europa Clipper mission, as well as European Space Agency's upcoming Jupiter Icy Moons Explorer or JUICE. And that's not the only moon of Jupiter that shows signs of life. Enceladus, a celestial enigma, ignites the fervor of astrobiologists, for it stands as one of the precious few ocean worlds scattered throughout our solar system a beacon of hope in our quest to uncover extraterrestrial life. Beneath Enceladus's icy veneer lies a salty ocean, a potential sanctuary for living organisms sustained by the chemical energy coursing through hydrothermal vents concealed on the ocean floor. The mysterious substance expelled from Enceladus surging forth predominantly through enigmatic fractures known as tiger stripes encircling the moon's southern pole, forms an undeniable link to a possible extraterrestrial ecosystem. Cassini's observations of the plumes and veiled silica particles, perhaps born from the ocean's hidden depths by churning currents. Numerous encounters with Enceladus's plumes enabled Cassini to analyze ice grains and detect life-friendly chemicals such as methane, carbon dioxide, and ammonia. However, it is the extraordinary capabilities of the JWST, perched 1.5 million kilometers away from Earth, that have unearthed secrets concealed from Cassini's ringside seat. While Cassini could perceive only ice grains that remained in close proximity to the moon's surface, JWST's wider panoramic view and its exquisitely sensitive instruments capture ethereal whispers of gaseous signals wafting through the realm of Enceladus. On that fateful day, November 9, 2022, the JWST gazed intently upon Enceladus, and in a fleeting moment of cosmic communion, unveiled a vision beyond comprehension. A mere 4.5 minutes of data captured an expanse of unfathomable proportions, a chilling plume of water vapor that stretched into the abyss. The forthcoming scientific paper will quantify the magnitude of this majestic spectacle, revealing the quantity of water unleashed and its temperature. For now, we know that the data suggests that the plume is likely to be of low density, more like a diffuse, cold cloud than a damp spray. That's not great news for anyone looking to grab samples from the plume and hoping to find life, as the signs of life may be too sparse to detect. Nonetheless, the enigmatic moon of Enceladus continues to captivate and bewitch researchers, urging them to explore further with the JWST's astonishing findings serving as a catalyst, plans are already underway to unravel the mysteries held within. Recently, the organizers of the JWST released a captivating list of upcoming observations, among which lies another ambitious endeavor, a prolonged study of Enceladus. This subsequent venture will dedicate six times the duration of the initial study, aiming to uncover chemical compounds associated with habitability, such as organic compounds and hydrogen peroxide. Various proposals are currently under consideration, including an audacious orbital and a mission that would gracefully orbit the moon for an extended period before making its triumphant descent upon its icy southern pole. Alternatively, another concept entails the development of an autonomous snake-like robot 
braving the treacherous subterranean depths of Enceladus's icy crust to explore its hidden ocean. With each breakthrough, we inch closer to deciphering the secrets that lie hidden among the stars. And the way Webb is performing, it is only a matter of time before the universe shines in a new light. What do you guys think? Drop in your comments below and don't forget to subscribe to Lab360 because together we will explore